Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Well, as I record this, it's the week before Thanksgiving, and we're getting close to the Christmas season when everybody's going to be trying to pick out those perfect gifts. Well, a little bit later on in the video, I'm going to give you 12 perfect gifts for the tractor enthusiast. But first, next week is Thanksgiving as I record this, and two things. Number one, I won't be recording a video next week, so if you're a regular listener, don't think I've died when I don't post a video. Uh, number two, Thanksgiving is a great time to express appreciation to the people that have had a big impact on your life. And I wish I could get out and thank each and every one of you today for watching my videos, but that's not possible. But I can say right now, thank you to all of you that watch my videos and take time to comment in the comments section or reach out with an email or patronize my website. I do appreciate every one of you because it's enabled me to have a great life out in my little place in the country and not have to go anywhere or punch a time clock or report to anyone and I appreciate it more than you know. Thank you very much. Now today I'm going to talk about 12 great Christmas gifts for the tractor enthusiast. This is a blatant commercial for my website. The website is actually where I make my money. If you, if you have to depend on YouTube viewers to make your living it gets a little tough because Google owns YouTube. They can direct people wherever they want and uh, if you try to make content that fits what the algorithm says people are looking for, you can, you can make content that may not be what you want to put out there. Where I do make my living is on my uh, online store on my website. And today I'm going to talk about 12 items that I've got on that website that you may not know about that make a perfect gift for the tractor enthusiast. And let's start with number one today. And this is the thing I've been selling the longest. It's called a tractor caddy. It's a tray that mounts on the roll bar without drilling holes that you can store stuff in. And the idea for Tractor Caddy came from me going out to the woods and not having a place to put my chainsaw. But we've redesigned it this year. It's now powder coated, which a lot of people are going to like. It's got a little different bracket system that's going to make it easier to mount. And it's also got some notches on the sides where if you want to carry a rake or a hoe or a, a weed eater to the field with you, you can put it in there and it'll sit in those notches and you can bungee it down and carry it safely there. So Tractor Caddy, I've been selling it longer than any other product. It's something I came up with. It's a great gift idea for any tractor enthusiast with a tractor without a cab. I've never been able to come up with a Tractor Caddy for a cab tractor, but uh, this is great for the folks that have tractors without cabs. Also all new this year is a version for your zero turn roll bar called a ZT Caddy. It's handy for carrying your leaf blower or your weed eater around or for picking up sticks in the yard. The second favorite thing I sell on my website that would make a great Christmas gift is Pat's Easy Change. Pat's Easy Change makes hooking up implements a whole lot easier. It's like an eagle claw where you get under the pins, raise it up, and the implement goes right in place. Now you still got to get off the tractor seat to put the top link on and to attach the PTO, but uh, it makes hooking and unhooking implements a whole lot easier than it used to be. And it's Pat's Easy Change. It's available in Category 1 and Category 2. The number three great gift idea for the tractor enthusiast is a canopy where they can keep out of the sun in the summer and out of the elements if you have a rainstorm or something like that. And my favorite canopy is called a rhino hide. And the neat thing about the Rhino Hide Canopy, it comes off the tractor. Even if you're an old guy like me, you can lift it off. To mount it, you have to drill two or three holes in the mounting bracket, not the roll bar, but the mounting bracket, and get it positioned. And then it goes on the tractor, and then any time you want to take it off, you can pull it right off the tractor easily. If it's made out of the same material that the lids to trash dumpsters are made out of, it's a little thicker, but it's the same material, so it's really tough and really light and really easy to get off the tractor. It's called a Rhino Hide Canopy. My fourth great tractor gift for the tractor enthusiast involves lighting. Especially this time of year when it gets dark early, your tractor lights on your grill shine right into the loader bucket. They almost blind you. It's almost worse having them there than without them. But the RBI tractor light mounts in minutes on a tractor, and RBI stands for Roll Bar Illumination. It's a, a light bar with magnets that goes right on the roll bar, controlled with a switch with a magnet that goes right on the side of the roll bar, and then run your cord to the front of the tractor and you've got lights. I used mine this last week trying to get some brush hogging done before dark and I didn't make it, but I was able to get done because I had the RBI tractor light. 
Along those same lines and made by the same people is the Country Road Tractor Light Kit. And this is a five piece kit. It has a beacon. If you're going down the road, put that beacon on your roll bar to alert other cars you're there. It has two amber lights that can provide clearance for an implement that's on the back of the tractor. And they can also flash. And it's got two white lights that can provide illumination front or back or serve as a work light. It's a very versatile kit. All of these lights have magnets on the back of them so they'll mount on any metal surface and they all have batteries. So I carry these with me when I go on vacation. If I have a flat tire in my car, I can get the white lights out, put them on the side of the car and see what I'm doing to change that tire. But they'll make your tractor a lot safer, especially if you have like a hay ride and you get out on the open road. I don't recommend that, but if you got to do it, having illumination really makes it a lot safer. It's the Country Road Tractor Light Kit. My sixth favorite gift idea is probably my favorite service item. It's called Lube Shuttle. It's a grease gun made in Germany. It has a lot of pressure. It puts grease everywhere it needs to go around your bearings. But when it's time to change the grease canister, it has a screw-in canister. It's a whole lot better than those old grease tubes where you had to pull the plunger back and lock it in place and then fish that nasty grease tube out of, the, out of your grease gun, uh, you just get grease all over you. With Lube Shuttle, you push a, a little bit of the grease up over the top of the threads and then just screw it into the grease gun and you're ready to go again. Makes greasing a whole lot easier and a whole lot cleaner. It's one of my absolute favorite products. It's called Lube Shuttle. My seventh favorite gift idea for the tractor enthusiast is something I came up with. I couldn't find on the market anywhere and I wanted for myself and that's tractor loader cylinder safety stops. It's a whole lot easier to work on a tractor when you can raise the loader up out of the way. And with these safety stops, you take the bucket off, you raise the loader all the way up, and then you let the loader down just till it touches these safety stops. And they're a mechanical device to keep the loader from coming down on you. And then you put pins in them to make sure they stay there. And then you can safely work under your front end loader without it being in the way. For the DIY person that does their own tractor service, it's a must have. It's tractor loader cylinder safety stops. My number eight favorite product is Radiator Genie. And Radiator Genie comes with two wands that clean your radiator out. They've got long tubes that get in there in that hard to get to place in your tractor radiator to blow it out. You know with a car, when you're driving down the road at 70 miles an hour, you've got all kinds of air coming through your radiator keeping things cool. With a tractor, you're not moving. And so you've got to build that air. And in this time of year, when you've got mature seed heads, with weed seeds on them, you're just sucking all that stuff into your radiator and you can plug it up and burn up your engine. With Radiator Genie, you can either use compressed air or water to blow that debris out and keep your radiator clean and your tractor cool. It's a must have for the tractor owner. It's called Radiator Genie. My ninth favorite product is kind of like Tractor Caddy, only it goes one step further. It's called Saw Haul. And a saw haul is a device that mounts on the side of your loader arms to carry a chainsaw in. And it's got a protective cover for the blade. And it'll ride there and be out of the way and be available whenever you need it. But if you get an option, you can get a wall mount where you pull it off your tractor, take it into your shop and hang it on a wall. It's a lot better way of storing a chainsaw than on the floor in the way. It's called saw haul and it's a great Christmas gift for the tractor enthusiast. My number 10 favorite Christmas gift is a custom farm sign. Now custom farm signs are all over the internet, but most of them have a picture of a big tractor or a combine that the average person that watches my video won't own. On my custom farm sign, it's a rural lifestyle setting with a small tractor like most of us own, and we'll personalize it and put your farm name at the bottom. But if you're gonna order that for Christmas, you better get that in in the next couple of weeks because it takes a while to kick those out with your name at the bottom. So don't, don't delay if you're gonna order that. My number 11 favorite gift for a tractor owner is a rear view tractor camera. You know, if you're out brush hogging and you're backing up a lot, you're looking over your shoulder all the time, it gets real hard on your neck. With a backup camera, you can just look at your monitor and see where you're going. The backup cameras that I offer come from a company called Dakota Micro who specializes in cameras and monitors for agricultural use. So they're designed to be out in the dust and the elements. They offer a deluxe camera that's made in the U.S. 
They also offer a, tr a camera that's made overseas. So if you're on a budget, get the one that's overseas made. If you want to invest in a really deluxe camera, get the one called AgCam that's made in the U.S. And I'm hoping to install one on my zero turn this year because I back up a lot in my yard and we've got a neighbor dog hanging around and I don't want that to end badly. So a backup camera is something that can be added to your tractor, your utility vehicle, or your zero turn mower, and they're available on my website. And finally today, the 12th item, if you have a tractor enthusiast that you know or is in your family with a seat that's going bad, get them a new seat. They're available on my website. They're USA built, they're deluxe, They've got a drain hole in the bottom so the wa rain water runs out. You won't get a wet butt when you sit in them. And many of them offer armrests as an option. And if you're gonna be sitting in that tractor seat a long time during the day, an armrest is a great thing to add to a seat. We offer these seats for most of the major brands and many of the popular models that are out there. And if you don't see yours listed, shoot me an email and we'll see if we can't get it. But tractor replacement seats are a great gift for the guy that's got a tractor seat that looks like this. So those are a dozen things you can get for the tractor enthusiast. They're all on my website. They help support my channel. Your business is much appreciated. If you want any one of them, go to my website right here. And here's another video you might want to watch. Hey, you guys have a great Thanksgiving and a little early, but Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching.